of the women a name for a women choir the title for the documentary about them Kvisha, which ones are the joys of the women which ones were the joys for those women how we are meant to understand this title I think the word the joys of the women is um, really uh, talking about the joys of the women being in their expression and in their singing and finding their voice for many years, uh, the Italian women who migrated here were a big part of building the community in the sense that often they worked in the factories and they worked in the industrial setting, if you like, but they were their voices were invisible and uh, their stories were invisible. And when I met them, I fell in love with them and I thought they are such a interesting uh, group of women and powerful women and also inspiring to me because then as a younger person I was impressed by their dignity, their sense of fun, their sense of joy and their sense of survival and I really wanted the world to know about them and that's why I wanted to form a choir to celebrate them and to um, share my excitement at meeting them. Also, they knew some fantastic songs and as a singer, I thought, well, they can teach me. I mean, in a way, I was being greedy for myself. I wanted to learn <laughs> from them, you know. Having a project in mind is something, being able to accomplish it is something else. To make your ideas come through is a different story. How the money needed for the documentary was found? The Joys of the Women wasn't the easiest project uh, to um, fund, really, because when we went around and told some of the gatekeepers at the various funding institutions and broadcasters and people like the Australian Film Commission what it was about, their reaction was, well, who would want to see a film about a, a group of little Italian ladies singing traditional Italian songs? Um, so uh, that was their reaction, but I knew what these women were like. They were larger than life, and when you saw them in person, uh, they were so uplifting and their stories were so moving that I knew that it would touch people's souls. So uh, we were confident that it would have an audience. It's just that a lot of other people didn't share in that belief. And luckily, because the Australia Council had helped fund Kavisha Mazzella's research into traditional Italian songs and forming this choir, they supported a theatrical release of the film. And uh, so I went around to a number of cinemas to see if they would be interested in showing the film when we had a rough cut stage. And a lot of them said, yeah, we'd love to show this. And with that, we were able to get a distributor on board and sh release it theatrically. But it also had already a pre-sale from the ABC, and they were very, very enthusiastic about it. I mean, these days it would be very hard to get a project like this off the ground because, you know, they want documentary series, they want reality programs. You came to Australia that you were three, Italian father, Anglo-Burmese mother. You grew up well integrated, you used the word assimilated. But one day you discovered where you came from and you started playing and singing the songs and the music of your native country. And another day you met these women. Three of us, my brother Antonio Gianni, who was my friend from Sicily and myself, we formed a little group called I Papaveri and we went to sing for a... Uh, a ladies group called Amicizia Club in Fremantle and we were singing our songs um, that we had learned and um, they started singing back to us and again it was this rush of recognition and this feeling of connection even though I didn't know the women personally through us singing together I, all of a sudden again it was another moment a another turning point in my connection with my culture and 
feeling to be a part of something bigger than myself. And save some money. Oh, I'm so hungry, the children of Napoli are hungry, wistful eyes. I see their eyes, I say goodbye, I am leaving today. Per una vita migliore, per una vita migliore We won't be hungry, we won't be poor Cucendo il mio sogno, cucendo il mio sogno My dreams are in the sheet 20 years after, how do you feel about the subject of the joys of the women? Besides being able to recall them, do you still cherish the feelings you had while shooting the documentary? The thing I remember most about the making of this film were the women and how they came to life. I mean, the many, many of them had spent their lives uh, as housewives, locked away in their homes, cleaning, washing, cooking for their husbands. And now after all these years, um, after their husbands had passed away, they found a new lease of life and wanted to step out into Australian society and make some sort of cultural contribution. And to see that happen was so joyous. And it's no wonder that the choir is called the joys of the women. We all have positive stories that have come out of the making of this film and the way it launched the careers of so many people. But it also launched um, the choir onto the national stage. I mean, these women went on to sing in front of prime ministers. They went on to sing at grand finals of football matches. They released CDs. One of them wrote a book about her life and it turned into a, a stage play and it was a box office success. Um, Kavisha herself, her song Wedding Sheets, which features in the film, of which you can see a clip, um, she, that, that, that uh, clip um, led to her winning an ARIA award for best folk song. Um, you know, there were so many things that had an impact. And in fact, Kavisha now herself um, was um, honoured in the Australia Day Awards a few years ago for her contribution. Um, and the song lyrics for uh, Wedding Sheets, which tells the story of um, an arranged marriage, marriage by proxy, which was quite common in the post-war period. Um, those lyrics uh, and that clip are now featured in the Italian uh, museum here in uh, Melbourne, um, Museo Italiano. And uh, so, you know, I think the recognition has come. Quite a while has passed by since the production and the release of the film. Lots of water has flown under the bridge, so to speak. Are you still with these women? Uh, look, it's 20 years since the film was made, but I haven't forgotten them and they haven't forgotten me. And from time to time we will meet, meet up and um, we have a sing together and uh, we'll even be performing at the same festival. So it's um, it, it really has been a long friendship, you know. Uh, some of the women sadly have passed away and there's a lot of new members who have nothing to do with the film so they don't, and they weren't there at the beginning when we formed the group and I met them at the Amicizia Club. There's some, they don't know anything about that. So, um, and also they've got a new musical director but still the... The spirit of it is um, still, you know, goes on.